Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. If you have a gardening question you'd like our host Fred Howard to answer, send him an email. The email address is fred at planttalkradio.com. Now for today's question. Well, you know, usually we think about uh, mulch in the yep. late spring yep. after the soil starts to warm up, but now you're you're talking about getting a little mulch down in the fall. This is true, Mark. When, when you think about Mother Nature in, in the broadest sense, trees, shrubs, and uh, ground covers and all are almost always mulched, and it's it's usually last year's leaves, uh, it's, it's twigs and things that fall out of the trees, all of that. And what we do when we buy a bag of mulch is to try to emulate what Mother Nature set up and the plants are used to over, well, the millennia. Now, uh, I, I'm going to start with no names, but a, an ad that I saw that was a good marketing statement, pile on the mulch. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's a marketing statement, but it's it's totally incorrect for us as gardeners. Now, first of all, rarely should you have more than two inches of mulch on a plant at any one time. Then I think it was, well, the timing on that statement was way early. Now, he's selling mulch, and I am in favor of mulch. There's no question about it. But let's not put on on in piles. And then I think our best bet is after the soil has started to cool, and I'm, I'm going to say late October, November, is the time to kind of finish your yard work by mulching, most especially those plants that you know to be shallow rooted, even though they've been in the ground for a long time. Uh, mulch serves many functions. To a certain small degree, it holds down the weeds. Then it also allows for stopping the rays of sun from beating down on the ground and drying the soil and warming the roots in, in well, most any time. It comes to the matter then of freezing. Mulch does not stop the soil from freezing, but it slows down the process. And when you can freeze and or thaw plant roots more gently, there is far less chance for damage. Now, a lot of things go on beyond that, but I don't want anybody to think no mulch. Uh, I have a couple of spots that are without mulch, but that's that's my choice and my workload. But at the same time, uh, other plants, uh, I have service berry in front of my home. Uh, they are a natural denizen of the woods. They then are predisposed over the millennia to being under mulch from big oaks and uh, or formerly ash trees and, uh, as mentioned earlier, even the beech trees. So I always, ever since, well, 40-some years now, they have been mulched uh, not often, but there's almost always about a two-inch layer of mulch on those. I started with a bed of shredded mulch, and now I use the big chunk mark chunk bark mulch for for decorative effect and it all simply does then help hold moisture in in the summertime it helps hold down the weeds a little bit but most especially then it slows the freezing and thawing in the fall and uh, that becomes quite important uh, it can still and I it has done so in my yard back I think it was 1978 doesn't matter but well it does matter it cracked my garage floor uh, it froze so darn deep wow that it almost got below the, the frost footing of 36 inches on some structures. It broke water lines under the streets. It did all kinds of evil things. So it gets deep and nasty, even though mulched, even though under concrete, even though under the front lip of my driveway, of my garage, I should say. So we can't stop that, but we can very definitely slow the progression of the freeze and then slow the, the thawing period, and that really helps our plants. Hey, thanks again for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our other podcasts as well, the Plant of the Week podcast and the Plant Talk Radio podcast, all on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. If you'd like to sponsor a daily podcast, contact us at fred at planttalkradio.com. To find out more about Fred Hauer and Plant Talk Radio, visit our website, planttalkradio.com. Circle270media.com.